So whoever is behind this nasty plan to bring us all to Rome, it cannot be Alistair because his doctor just checked on him and he's still in a coma. Then someone else has lured us all here to Rome and put our lives in danger. You know, I don't buy this. It has to be Alistair. I mean, this kind of elaborate plot is right up his alley. But that would be impossible. Okay, well, then who's the puppeteer who's trying to control us all? How could you stab me in the back like that? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, hey, hey. Whoa, whoa. What the hell's what's wrong, wrong with, you? with you guys? Man, you're gonna get us kicked out of this hotel. Now, what's going on? Why don't you ask Casanova? Get him out of here. What is going on? You guys are friends. Come on. What kind of friend jumps into bed with your girl? What? It is not what you think. I caught him in bed with Fancy. Are you kidding me? What about Sheridan? Look, nothing happened. The hell it did, and I saw it with my own eyes. I was protecting Fancy. In bed? Go to hell, Luis. What the hell is going on? You believe those two? They used to be friends, you know? Yeah, well, they'll work it out. Look, do you need me? Because I want to get back out and look for Whitney. No. No, go ahead. I'll catch you later, man. Thanks. Please tell me you did not sleep with Fancy. No, for God's sakes, not you too. Of course not. All right, good. Would you honestly think that I would do that to Sheridan? Look, Fancy and I were tired, we fell asleep, that's all. You know, I tried to explain it to Noah, but the fool lost his head, he jumped to conclusions. I, I figured it was something like that. Well, Fancy's a great girl, okay, but Sheridan is the love of my life. I'm still holding on to the dream that I'm going to be able to get her back. The only way that's going to happen is if I find Beth and Marty and bring my son back to her. That's my only hope.